Uh, it's going to be an awesome experience for not only us, but our, our players uh, to have that experience uh, with myself and Eddie playing them physically back in the day and, and, and doing what we did to them then. Uh, it's just going to be a great experience for uh, Tennessee State University and our, and our student athletes. Didn't you score in South Bend? Yeah, I scored a couple times. Uh, so uh, you're gonna show them where you, <laughs> yeah, your I, players. I, you know, I might show my RBs where, where those <laughs> scores were, but uh, you know what a tremendous opportunity it's gonna be for us to to get a chance to play that game. Pippen, can you Thank feel you. some momentum? What What do you feel like right now at Tennessee State with Eddie? Yeah. You guys all back together again, the posse. Absolutely, absolutely, exactly what you said. There, there's a tremendous uh, momentum going, especially with HBCUs. Uh, in the direction they're going. Um, so, you know, we're just trying to, we're, we're happy to be a part of that movement and uh, just contribute as much as we can. So Eddie's put together a great staff and, uh, you know, hopefully we can start to move that chain like the Ohio States have done and uh, be as success, successful as they are. What have you seen is the biggest difference between this time a year ago and now, you know, Eddie hires you, you know, right, you, I, Richard I, McNutt. I mean, but, but right. what, what's, what's the biggest difference in that program just a year well, it's just the, the organizational part, uh, getting everybody on campus on board, um, just like we are with the football team. Um, so it's a process, and Eddie's the right guy to, to head up the charge. He has a great vision that we're all trying to help carry out, and uh, you know I think we're headed in the right direction for sure. Pepe, how do you draw from your experiences here at Ohio State as you build, help build up this program at Tennessee State? Well, that's just it. You know, with the uh, leadership that uh, we have at the top with Eddie, um, the assistant coaches that he's brought on as well, um, that's our job to kind of incorporate what we've learned um, and give it back what, the, you know, we learned to be successful, and that's what we're doing. And, uh, again, we've built a great staff with a lot of experience, NFL and, and collegiate experience, and uh, that's what's gonna help us become uh, what we wanna be, and that's, that's a great team. How have you seen Eddie grow into that head coach role in such a short time? Well, you know, um, Eddie did, doesn't have, doesn't need a lot to grow into being a head coach. He has natural leadership skills. Um, he has that charisma that you need. He's gonna be a good public relations guy, always and forever. Uh, so uh, it's, it's a lot of it has come easy for him, um, and he's a quick study. So he's learned a lot over a year, and I, I think the momentum for him going forward is is going to be great. So, you've paid you you paid your dues as a coach is the best way of putting it, in my opinion. Uh, do you agree? Yeah, I, you I know mean, I've been go no go ahead. I, you know I've been I've been coaching for over over twenty years, yeah. um, but uh, you know I'm happy to be in a position that I am to help Eddie because this is his first stint. And now the way he helped me when I was here become a better player, I'm in a position to help him become a better coach. So uh, that's that's a, a great part about it as well. Why did you bite off getting into coaching though? What was what was the allure? I mean, you well, were a star player at Ohio State. I, don't, I know you don't like to hear that, but you right. were. No, it, it's just um, I still had the passion, uh, the passion after playing football. I wanted to find a way to give back to athletes like myself when I was a student athlete here. Uh, how could I do that? And co getting into coaching was my way of doing that. So I, I love that aspect, giving back, pouring back into the student athletes and uh, giving them things that I had or didn't have. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's the, the great part of being a coach and that's why I've done it for so many years.